What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today I have got another version of a money method that I have once done before. The reason I'm bringing this up again is because last week I was going in on this money method trying to get as much money as I can before Tuesday which is when everyone was saying that summer update was going to drop. Last week I managed to go and make myself 4k within just one week and that is the most I've ever made whilst playing this game in just a single week I went from 18k and I knew I was slacking I tweeted out saying that I'm slacking I need to go get back on that money grind I went from 18k all the way up to 20k and then spent 1500 of that to go and buy a new horse buy a new saddle if you didn't know I did two videos last week talking about preparation for the trader and preparation for the bounty hunter and in both of those I said to go and get a new horse because it is a win-win situation so I ended up doing that spent 1500 and then managed to go and get myself all the way back up to 20k after that and I still managed to go and get a bit more money and now I'm sitting at $20,500 which is very nice for me. I think anything else above 20k because 20k was my goal to get before the summer update, anything else I get I think I might just spend it on the spring content that we are currently getting. We're getting a lot of limited stock to do with different items, we're also getting a lot of different discounts. I think I might stock up and get ready for that summer update. But how I did all of this was I was in Blackwater. Now, if you have taken a long break from Red Dead and you're coming back in preparation for that summer update, what you want to do, just a little tip, go and spawn all the way over in St. Denis, in Lemoyne, and then fast travel all the way to Blackwater. It does cost money, and I know straight off the bat you are losing money, but this way, once you go and spawn in St. Denis, that is where all the other players within that lobby or the majority of the players in that lobby are and as soon as you fast travel out of that you are getting away from everyone that way there is a less chance of being griefed you can also go and put defensive on if you are still worried about being griefed but trust me you're probably not going to have that much of a problem as soon as you get to Blackwall, start going down this route. I did a route before in Blackwall, but it turns out some of these points are not as reliable as others. We're talking about days where I haven't managed to go and get a dynamic event within these locations. What you want to do is head to this one. This one is probably the best. Most of the time you'll have a woman just sitting on the floor. Sometimes when you go over to interact with her, you have a 50-50 chance of whether or not she's going to ambush you or she's actually just going to jump on the back of your horse and you can go and do the dynamic event. You then have two different dynamic events in this location right beside each other. The first one is there is a camp ambush and you can just go over there, go and defend them. You're not gonna be making too much money out of this, but if you go over there and it is a thing to do, you might as well do it. Go and loot all the bodies as well because there is a chance of going to get a treasure map. The other one is right beside it and this one is another stranger dynamic event where you have to go and take them back to Thieves Landing. This one you have no problem of being ambushed this one is just a general rescue and escort mission so all you have to do is go over to there go and rescue them by killing all the other npcs you then go and loot their bodies and then you have to go and take them to thieves landing you then have another one which is at the top of this location really far away from black war but it ends up taking you back to the location that i just said about it ends up taking you back to this location this is someone that's witnessed the crimes that are taking place and they've reported it to you so you have to go all the way back down and then you have to go and do the rescue and escort again sometimes i've gone to the first location to go and do the rescue and escort nothing's shown up and then make my way all the way to the top within the forest and then she says she witnessed a crime i make my way back down to the original location and there it is the dynamic event has started and then the final dynamic event is at this location yet again right beside it it is a gang hideout sometimes it does show up sometimes it doesn't if it does show up definitely go and take everyone out go and loot all their bodies you won't be making that much money but what you might have a chance of getting is a treasure map but a dynamic event is normally just outside and yet again this is a escort mission most of the time it is you just have to pick them up and take them to black war this one rarely ever ambushes me so this one is actually a very good one to do so that's all the different dynamic event locations now what do you do with these dynamic events you need to go into these dynamic events go and talk to the people, go and interact with them, and they'll normally ask you to go and escort them somewhere. You will have to escort them to one of two locations within this area. The first one and the one that you'll get the most is you'll have to go 
go to Thebes Landing. The other one is you just have to go to Blackwater. But no matter which one you get, do not take them back straight away. The quicker you go and do a dynamic event or a mission within Red Dead, the less money, the less gold, the less XP you get. So you want to take your time. If you go and wait 15 minutes whilst doing this dynamic event, what will happen is a five minute timer will pop up. At that point, you still do not go and hand it in at that yellow location. Wait until the last 30 seconds to go and hand it in to be making the most money, the most gold, and also the most XP. Whilst you're waiting for that timer to go down, do not just sit around and wait, go off and do a bit of hunting. Blackwater is one of three of my favorite places to go hunting within Red Dead, and it offers a lot of different animals to go and get. The first lot is all the way over here. You can go and get bison at this area. Go and stock up as much of this as you can. You will not be able to go and put the bison hide on the back of your horse because you'll be carrying a stranger. You can, if you really want to, because a bison hide goes for $5, you can go and put a bison hide on the back of your horse and make the stranger just chase after you. Do not go too far, otherwise they just end up stopping. But if you just go at a sort of jogging pace whilst on horseback, that stranger will be able to run alongside you. But if you want the stranger on the back, just go over to the bison, go and kill as many bison as you can, go and skin them, go and drop the hide and you'll still go and get the meat and the horn in your satchel. You can then go over to the tall trees where you're able to go and get a bunch of different elks, you're able to go and get a bunch of different cows, a bunch of different deers, a bunch of different pro horn bucks, you're able to still go and get the small animals. There's bears in this location as well well and also at night time this place is very good to go and get cougars you can get a number of different cougars at a number of different locations there are four different cougar locations the first one is over here at the bottom of Blackwater you can then go and get a second one at this location just here as you enter and go down that path towards Blackwater you then have another one at this Manzanita post this one is actually also a gang hideout and it's actually a very good location because if you go there, you're going to get one of three things, and if you don't get any of them, you are extremely unlucky. You'll either go there and you'll get a gang hideout. If not, you'll go there and get a cougar location. If not, you'll go there and you'll get a bear location. Most of the time, it's one of those three. Like I said, if you get anything else, you're extremely unlucky. And then the final one, which not many people know about, you can go and get a cougar at this location as well. Make sure you are hunting every single animal you come across, no matter how big or small, whether or not you know they go for a lot of money or very little money. Your job here is to go and fill your satchel with as many goods as possible within about 20 minutes, because that is what the dynamic event last for. Once you get close to the time to go and hand in that dynamic event, do not let the timer run out. Like I said, you want to be outside that location, that yellow cursor within the last 30 seconds. And then once it gets into that 30 seconds, that is when you go into that yellow cursor and go and complete this mission. By completing the mission, you'll get around about $18, about 400 XP and around about 36 gold nuggets. From that, after completing, that is when you go and head all the way back around to Blackwater, go to the butchers and then you go and sell everything that you have stored in your satchel as well as on the back of your horse. Most of the time you will be getting yourself round about $60 well at least $60 that's what I've been getting I've never got anything lower than $60 for selling all my goods. Within 20 minutes that's very good I've made myself around about $80 and I've managed to go and make myself 36 gold nuggets and also I'm still progressing through my levels and eventually after maybe a couple hours of doing this, I'm able to go and rank up five levels and I'm able to go and get myself a treasure map. So we're progressing through a lot of different stuff, which is able to give me money, gold, and also XP. But anyway, guys, that is the money method that I've been using over the last week. And it has got me a lot of money within Red Dead. And now we're at that point where I'm happy with the money that I've got to go into that summer update. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.